Look, you two are great, so I wish I could recommend you both for the Mae Young Classic, but Hunter said they're only looking to fill one spot right now. You're really milking this decision. <laughs> Get it? Because the crybaby match earlier? I've been hanging out with Trey too much. Please, continue. I'm gonna have to recommend Candace. She's been doing this for over 15 years. Red, you've got a ton of potential, but you don't have anywhere near that kind of experience. Yeah, totally. I get it. Thank you so much for this opportunity. I'm sure we'll see each other again in the future. Like he said, I've been doing this a really long time, and you're one of the best I've ever seen. And you're only gonna get better. I appreciate that. Uh, I gotta go call my husband and tell him the good news. No guarantees but I'll definitely keep you in mind if WWE ends up doing this tournament again. Give me your contact info before you leave tonight, okay? I will. Thanks. Hey, I overheard what Xbox said. This is just a bump in the road, and tonight wasn't a total loss. At least I get to cross off wrestle in a crybaby match. Give me that. Ugh, it smells like butt sweat. I told you not to keep the list in your tights. Cost of doing business. Win May Young Classic Tournament. See if you can air that out. As our indie journey continued over the next couple of years, we got to have matches in a lot of cool places. But the one that stood out most was when we got to do a special show back in our hometown. You've got to be kidding me. And we thought our head couldn't get any bigger. You know what? I'm not going to let a stupid sign ruin this for us. Let's go. This was our chance to show our friends and family just how far we had come. Well, at least our friends. So what happens if your parents show up tonight? First of all, as far as I'm concerned, they're not even really my parents anymore. But if they did show up, then security can deal with it. I'm not gonna let anyone pick and choose when they wanna have my back, especially now that I'm having a little bit of success. But you haven't talked to them since Calgary, which was like four years ago. Maybe it's time you give them another chance. Another chance to tell me I'm wasting my life and that I'm never gonna make it? Sorry, I don't need that. Besides, I paid them back their money, so the way I see it, we have nothing to discuss. Hey, I'm not shelling out an extra 20 bucks so you two can have a therapy session. I handed her the wrench, if that counts. Also, were you listening to our entire conversation? Hey, I get it. We've all got drama in our lives. I mean, look at me. Last year, I put on a mask and attacked my former protege, Buzz, costing him a shot at WWE. Then he wouldn't return my phone calls or texts for like a year. No one wanted to work with me and BCW folded. But then I stuck up for Buzz to AJ Styles. And the next thing you know, I'm in Buzz's corner at WrestleMania. And now I'm in the process of rebuilding BCW. That's a lot of very specific information. Yeah. What's your point? My point is... I turned chicken crap 
into chicken salad. And that's what I can do for you two if you sign exclusive deals with me and become cornerstones of the new BCW. We actually have been looking for some more stability. And putting aside all that attacking your protege stuff, you seem like a real stand-up guy, so we're in. Great! I promise you won't regret this. Sorry I'm late. Two old-timers got in a fight over who called bingo first, and I had to step in. But Marco said if I keep settling disputes without anyone breaking a hip, then he's gonna let me call the numbers next Tuesday morning. That's great. How's the house looking tonight? I think we might get ten people, which includes two comps I left for some nice ladies from bingo, but still not bad. By the way, pretty sweet the school let us use your office as a locker room. What's wrong? Let's see. You're a bingo hall security guard, I'm a part-time janitor at our old high school, and we're about to wrestle in front of ten people. Actually, the bingo ladies just canceled, so it's eight now. Apparently there's a ventriloquist at their senior complex tonight. That does sound better than this. We were on the path to success. We were gonna make it to WWE and achieve all these goals, and maybe even end up in the Hall of Fame someday. Then we signed with Baron Blade and he ruined everything. Now all we have is a meaningless piece of paper that's just a constant reminder of how crappy our lives are. Hey, speak for yourself. I'm up for a promotion and I'm going to see a ventriloquist. You're bailing on the show? Yeah, if the entire crowd could have carpooled together, it's probably not worth it. Anyway, you just need to give up on all those dreams and then you'll feel a lot better about how things turned out. It worked for me. Man, how do they do that? I know we failed to crack double digits in attendance tonight, but BCW's this close to turning it all around. Next show, they'll be lining up out the door, or in our case, the large hole in the gym wall that's now used as a door. seen Red and Josie Jane wrestle a hundred times, but they're the only women I can book because, well, I tricked them into signing lifetime exclusive contracts. Piece of advice, read the fine print, people.
I regret to inform you that Trey will not be appearing tonight. If you would like a refund, well, <laughs> look around. You're at the wrong show for that. is a mess how about after your match you do your job and clean it up for those of you who don't know red moonlights as a janitor and daylights as a failed wrestler Please be aware that BCW will not be held liable for any injuries occurring at tonight's event, including those suffered from falling roof shrapnel, toxic mold inhalation, or hobo attack. WWE with their fancy network, their big crowds, and their non-condemned arenas, when you can have all of this, right, Red? Next month's show is going to feature the return of BCW original Cole Quinn. He had a jet ski accident and looks completely different now, but I swear it's really him, and I'm not just trying to pull one over on you. Remember when BCW ran a show at the venue that was the home of Monday Night Raw? Triple H was shutting down our shows and we were invading NXT? <laughs> Those were the days. N not that this isn't great too. turned out like you thought it would and you're miserable but at least act like you want to be here It's really mopping up the competition. Get it? Because she's a janitor. Ha! Maybe I should ditch this whole wrestling thing and give stand-up comedy a shot. We need to wrap this up soon. The motorcycle gang I paid to do security for the show wants to use the gym for dodgeball. Helps with their team building, I guess.
BCW might be struggling these days, but let's face it, the entire country is. But really, there's only one man to blame. President John Cena. My point is, I turn chicken crap into chicken salad.